Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with analyst Chris Thompson from eResearch. How are you today, Chris? I'm great. Thank you, Tracy. And Chris, you've just initiated coverage of Toronto Resources, and we were just talking before we started about why this particular report offers some coveted, interesting items that every investor should be looking for. Tell us a little bit more about this. Well, it's an undervalued silver company with a large uh, package of land in a very rich uh, silver area in, uh, in Mexico. And so I think when investors are looking at, um, you know, uh, high risk, high return type of um, uh, companies, uh, this might be uh, one that should be on their radar. And of course, for those of you out there, if you follow research reports, which are full of good data on valuations, on why you should investigate a stock further, you will see that your buy recommendation puts the stock at three times its current trading price. Is that correct? Yeah, that, that's correct. This is a very early stage uh, project uh, and company. Um, they have a, a, a nice pro size project that covers a very large, you know, more than 4,000 hectares in, in, in Western Mexico, um, in what they call the Sierra Madre Occidental area, a very uh, good uh, area for both gold and silver projects. Uh, what I like about this project is the size, they've got a good district sales size, as well as they have some historical production. So they know that there is some gold and silver on, on the project. Um, uh, and so they can use that data as they look to explore the various areas on the project. And they have right now identified, you know, more than a dozen different areas with gold and silver showings on the project. So for those of you out there that are interested in research reports, where do they go to get the Toronto research report coverage? Yeah, if you want to find it, it's on the e-research website. So eresearch.com. And you can look under the company reports and you can download it for free. And of course, before I let you go, we're talking gold, we're talking silver, Mexico, and we're talking an incredibly undervalued project. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So there's a couple of different other factors with this company that's great. They're doing an uplisting. So they're moving to the NEO, to the, to the uh, TSX Venture Exchange. So I think that should help with uh, getting investors on board. Uh, they're in the middle of raising a million dollars in financing that they'll help to use uh, to do the drill program for this year. And so as an early stage project, and you know, it's the drill results that's going to help uh, move this stock up. And I think with the historical production and the areas they can target for drilling, you know, they should be able to, um, you know, get some results that we should help support the, the stock price. So Chris, I just have to ask you, because I, I personally enjoy reading your initiation reports. Can you tell me as someone who writes these regularly, what is the competitive reason to read an e-research? Uh, initiation report? Well, in this case, if you're looking at companies operating in Mexico, I did a fairly comprehensive overview of the gold and silver companies operating in Mex Mexico to come up with a comparative valuation for this company, since it is an early stage company without a resource. And so if you're interested in learning more about, uh, you know, silver and gold mining in Mexico and the, and the companies operating there, you can have a good overview. And that's what I use to create the valuation uh, for this company. Of course, if you have any challenges out there finding the eresearch.com website, send us a note at investorintel.com and we'll send you over to the team at eResearch. Thanks for joining us today, Chris. Thanks, Tracy.